Welcome. So we're going to start off by having a look at how we're going to join fuel lines together, then we'll get started. So I uh, thought I'd do a, a mini guide on attaching fuel lines together for the Aerospace unit. So what we are looking for is to take our fuel line, such as this here, which is a 4mm by 1.25mm pipe line. That means it's got an internal diameter of 1.25. This is the pipe line I've used for the high pressure side. Um, we are going to look at joining this to um, the base of our pump. We're just going to pretend this little nozzle here is the base of our pump. So we need to put these two together. Uh, as you can see, it's impossible to get this to sit on that one. So what we have um, is we could take a piece of rubber piping. That rubber piping slots onto our piece and it slots onto our fuel line on the other side. Let me just force that in there. There we go. We um, we could join these like that, just put a Jubilee clip on either side, one of these little clamps. Um, and we kind of look like this picture at the side. What we've got in the middle here though, is we've got a gap between our um, stand pipe or our piece on our fuel pump um, and our pipes. And this is a little place where we'll actually um, get an air bubble start to form in there. Um, as the pump ticks, it will push air into the fuel system. I'm not 100% why it does that, but it definitely does. You see the bubbles traveling down the line. Um, so we want to try and avoid this. So whenever we're joining pipes, we're going to push them together until there's no gap. So it's a real case. And sometimes what that means is this section of rubber here will cut to be shorter. So we don't want it super short, but you cut a little bit off it. And what's really helpful is to work out... So if I need this to get to halfway, I can take myself a little marker pen, put myself a mark on it, and then I can start to place it in. As I'm pushing this pipe in, I can now at least tell how far in we are. And as we can see, it's quite difficult to get this in. It takes a lot more effort than... One would imagine, and this is why I tend to put the cable in on pipe work on before I have the cables on the van as much as possible. Get your pipe work sort of beforehand. So I carry on pushing this until it's into there, and this side would go along to meet it. And normally, you'll be able to feel when you push them together and clamp. We've got some clips that then go on top of these joints. You can either use a flat blade or screwdriver for these ones, or normally they're a seven mil um, nut. Okay, so just clamping those up until they're nice and snug on the joint. The way that I, am, I tend to do it is up until this, these two back pins start to deform, you really want them surprisingly tight, um, although we can nip round at the end and tighten these up. So that's how we join these together. On the high pressure side, um, I use this 1.25 internal diameter pipe. Um, on, on the low pressure side, I believe I've used a um, four millimeter by two mil internal pipe. Just what came with my Herbospace unit. If you're taking an Herbospace unit off of a, uh, an existing vehicle and transferring it onto yours, then just use whatever they've had in situ. And it's obviously worked in the past. Um, and if you're getting it new, you will get pipe sent through with your Herbospatial unit. So I would just use what is sent through in your installation kit. Thanks for watching. Let's uh, have a look at doing this on the van now. The bit of film that I've missed out here is on the... Uh, when I've installed this stand pipe, um, I've took the time to put on my rubber hose and put my fuel line that runs from my stand pipe to my fuel pump. Um, I haven't got any video footage of that, but it's exact procedure I've just shown you there. So, back to installation. As we saw in the mounting the Herbospatial video, um, I attached the fuel line before putting it in the vehicle. All I've got to do now is route this fuel line underneath the van and through to the engine bay where I've mounted the pump. This is running directly through the standpipe. I've just pushed the pump up so you can see the rubber hoses there are in place. I've pushed it into place. I've cable tied it to this rubber um, pipe. The reason I've opted for cable ties rather than bolts is just to try and take out some of the vibration. Um, 
and hopefully that'll work just so here. fast forward ahead the white pipe we can see there running from the unit I've just literally fed it forward cable tying it along the way and putting it through the existing cable tidies um, I've tried to keep it out of the way around the edge just using existing clips that are there I might go back and um, put some foam in to try and deaden any vibrations running down it from the click um, but we'll we'll do that at a later stage. So yep, just runs along here, unclip these clips, put it in, and it goes all the way along to the fuel pump. It's this connection here where we've got to be really careful and make sure these two pipes are really butted up to each other and there's no gap for a bubble to form, or it's likely that we'll get an airlock just here. On the other side, I've not really altered the pipe work. Um, it's exactly as it was in my older van. I had enough um, pipe there to reach where I wanted to but I've done exactly the same as I have on this side so I've got the rubber um, hose over the black pipe and then onto the um, well it's the inflow side of the fuel pump if you are installing from new uh, all you'll have is literally exactly as we described earlier in the video you'll have the pin from the fuel pump sticking out over with a rubber hose onto the black pipe and then that goes down and joins onto the stand pipe we've put on top of the fuel tank the pipe works routed through to where the stand pipe is just by cable tying it onto any flexible wires or pipes I saw along the way just to help no the vibrations. Just being careful not to attach it to obviously the exhaust or anything else that gets really hot or moves and slightly to damage the cable. So once we've got that cable tied um, on, all the fuel lines um, secured, that's us finished with the uh, fuel lines and the fuel pump. It really is that simple. So thanks for watching this video. Um, any questions, just leave a comment and I will endeavour to get back to you. Anything I've not said, um, just yeah, ask, honestly, not a problem. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and um, check out part four. If you've not seen the earlier videos, go back and check them out. Um, up next in part four, we've got the electrical system. Um, and then we'll be uh, giving the unit a test. Thanks for watching again. Bye.